Alright, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to modify it and add creativity to your train as well as start the assembly file. All right, so first thing with this project, I'm looking for a little creativity. Uh, right now, all my pieces are gonna be in this natural blue color, the default color. Um, as part of the grade, I'd like to give you creativity credit. And so to change your file, a few things. Um, I can certainly go over here to these three dots and change my entire train I click on this blue and I change it to the color I want. But I can also adjust it by specific features, right? So say I want all of these fillets, these rounded portions, to be a different color. I can go to that step on my left hand side. Here's my fillets. If I right click on it, it says add appearance to feature. And I can change that specific feature. Now all of my fillets are black. Right? Same thing will happen if you choose an extrusion. Right? So this extrusion, if I right click on it, add appearance to feature. Maybe I want this one to be white. I've got another one on the left hand side here. Right click on it, add appearance to feature. I can also grab specific parts, right? So maybe I want uh, this piece here to be a different color. If I highlight it, see how it's now highlighted? I can right click on it, add appearance to face. And now I can change just that one face, right? If I want more than one, I hold the shift key. I'm gonna undo that. If I want this whole back surface to be changed, I can hold the shift key on the keyboard, individually click on all the surface that I want to change, if I right click on it, add appearance to three faces now, and I'm going to change those all to be white. Alright, that's adding color. I have already gone through and added color to my remaining pieces. The next step then is to begin to put your assembly file together. Um, Onshape automatically creates that Onshape file. So I'm going to go over to my Onshape file where it says insert. I'm going to start inserting all my pieces. All right, the first one I want to insert is my train body. I simply place it out there. And then I've got my blueprint uh, part file opened up. So I'm going to go through here and try to match this parts file. All right, so there's my wheel. I can click out there. All right, so I've got my four wheels. Looks like I have two linkage arms, one on each side. So one over here and one over here. I've got a cow catcher. It looks to me like I never changed my colors here of the cow catcher, so I can actually go back into my cow catcher, assign it a color, and because the program is all linked together, when I go back to my assembly, you can see that it did change colors. I'm going to continue to insert. I've got a hitch peg located back here. You can see that it says part four hitch peg. Hitch magnet back here as well. Linkage peg. We have four linkage pegs. Our stack. I believe that completes our parts. I'll put three tracks out here. All right, hopefully this helps.